In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix ChatGPT 3 auth play integrity verification failed error. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing this and they are all pretty easy. So let's begin. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up settings on your device. So let me go into settings. There we go. And then after you do this, you want to make sure you locate apps. So it's going to be different on every device and you wanna look for apps, there we go. There's gonna be the list of your apps. So you wanna look for three specific apps over here, which we're gonna reset and then it should work. So just go up top and type in play. And then we have Google Play Store, which is the first one. So Google Play Store, click on Google Play Store, and then at the bottom left, click on force stop, and this will reset it. Now, once you click this, it says if you force stop an app, it may misbehave, just press okay. And then once you do this, it will basically restart Google Play Store. After you do this, look for Google Play Services. So over here, Play Services are here for me. If you can see them, you'll have to basically at the bottom click on Show All and then it will show Google Play Services. Go to Google Play Services, exact same thing, for Stop, OK, and then there we go. Now, the third app you should reset or for Stop is you want to go and head ahead and look for ChatGPT, of course. Click on that, for Stop, OK, again. There we go. And now we've force stopped all three. Once you do this, go back out and open up ChatGPT like this. Just open it and then it should be working for you normally, okay? If it doesn't, you can also try resetting your device. So just reset your phone and then once it opens back up, try opening it. And if it doesn't work, there's one more thing you can do. Now, this should work, but if it doesn't, the best alternative for this is to actually use ChatGPT inside a browser. So just log into the web version of ChatGPT, either in Google or Google Chrome, or whatever you wanna do. And then after you do this, open it up. It works quite well as well, of course, it's not the app itself, but still, if you want to use ChatGPT, that may be a great alternative. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.